for you specifically, what's your biggest area of improvement? What have you been working on going into this season? Um, just knowing my playbook. I want to know my playbook to the point to where I can tell a D lineman where, where he needs to line up because if I'm able to do that, it'll just benefit the team. And you think that plays well into the kind of your leadership role? It does. Or? It does. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. What about some overall strengths and weaknesses of the defense that you've seen so far? Um, strengths of the defense is um, effort. Everybody's running, trying to get to the ball, and everybody's taking it amongst themselves to do their job. And um, weakness right now, I say we've been putting in some new things. So right now, weakness may be a communication thing, but you know, you want to build on communication as you go through spring ball. Mm -hmm. So it's your job now. Last year, you kind of got into the middle of the season. How, Going into spring, how do you approach it now that you're the guy back there as opposed to me? Um, I approach it now, you know, going into last year, I was always staying ready, trying to, you know, and when my name was called so I could be ready. But now going into it, I'm going into it as like I'm the guy. I'm going into it thinking that younger guys are looking up to me. I'm setting the example. So when you're setting the example, you want to go at it full speed. You, you'd played before you before Donnie got hurt and you went in last year. You'd played quite a bit before at times. But when you go back and look at when you first when you first took over for him to the end of the season, did you, did you see a dramatic change in, in how you progressed maybe? I did. I mean, you know, when you play on and off, you can never get into a groove of things, so you never get too comfortable. But when I took on the role as a full-time starter, I got really comfortable, and I saw my, grain, I saw my game elevate a lot. Miles said, Miles Dorn said last week that um, point of emphasis for him this spring, one of them is to become a better leader. How have you seen him evolve as a leader? Uh, Miles is a guy, you know, he does his thing, he does his job, and he makes sure he does his job well. He's not much of a talker, he kind of keeps to himself. Except um, he's done a great job of talking and trying to teach the younger guys and bring them up and hold them to a higher standard. So when you say talking there, that's that's the teaching thing. The other kind of talking is being very vocal. And yeah, sort of he's... Hype guy. <laughs> In the locker room, he's vocal. You know, when we huddle up as a defense, he's getting in the he's getting in the center. He's talking to guys. He's making sure guys are doing what they're supposed to do. I got you on that right now. I got you. Yeah. So he's he's doing a lot a lot of teaching and a lot of like encouraging the younger guys. You know, stay with it, do your thing. You, you got it. Things like that. Does it seem like he's pushing himself to do it, or is it coming naturally? Do you think? Um, it's coming naturally. You know, he's probably always had it in him. But you know, you just got to get into a zone of things. And um, this is going to be year two as a full time starter for him. So it's coming natural.